Patrick Barnes, Head of Metal and Mining Consulting for Wood Mackenzie. Thank you for joining Egypt Mining Talks. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So, with your experience in the mining sector, why don't we start first by knowing more of what you do at Wood Mackenzie? Yeah, so Wood Mackenzie is a key advisor in the natural resources area around deployment of capital. Right, so we're experts on competitiveness. We provide and publish information about market outlooks ranging from oil and gas through to uh, the metals and mining, hydrogen, power and renewables. And uh, we have an advisory practice within that that also provides a strategic advice to companies around investment decisions, around competitiveness, and also to governments around attracting investments based on that same kind of knowledge and credibility that we have and, and helping people make investment decisions. We're help, able to help use that with governments to help them attract more, more funds. So with, with those expertise and services that you do with governments and private sector and private investors, how do you see the opportunities within the mining sector here in Egypt? Egypt has always had fantastic geology particularly for gold, but also for copper and, and some other um, key elements that are in high demand at the moment. Um, it also has a lot of key advantages, right? Geogra geographically, it couldn't be better positioned. It has low uh, cost energy. A lot of that's green energy. These are all things that are highly desirable when someone's looking at a place to do business. On top of that, you've got a highly educated and affordable workforce and a government that's, that's, you know, over the last few years increasingly demonstrated through its actions and its words and its movements, uh, a commitment to developing the mining sector. So I think, you know, the table is sort of set uh, and, you know, there have been, there's a lot of foundation that's been laid. We can see with this event this year compared to last year and previous years, the level of excitement and interest is building. You know, it looks like there's a really good possibility of unlocking that great geological potential to, to benefit the country, finally. What's the one thing that if you would advise here, Egypt here to do that would help in, in, in easing the process for attracting more investment, what would it be? I think the key thing for any country that's new to a sector, right, is to adapt to that sector and understand the business model and create the policies that make that easy, right? Um, sometimes when something's unfamiliar, like for example, Egypt has a very well-developed energy sector, and a lot of those le lessons are applicable, but some of them are not, right? And some of the things that, that are, you know, normal course of business for energy don't work for mining, right? And so the number one thing to do is to continue on the path that they have been on around understanding and adapting their policies to facilitate the attraction of those kind of companies. So in the short term, the thing that they need is to attract a lot more junior mining investment attract exploration investment. The name of the game on that is about speed. You know, how do you reduce the uncertainty, allow people to start exploring and putting money into the ground sooner, yeah. right? So that's about you know, streamlining processes, reducing some of those upfront costs, you know, being patient to collect money from the sector until there's real money to be collected, right? Making it easy, making it quick, making it inexpensive to do that, while maintaining the ability to ensure that you're getting the right benefits back in the short, medium, and long term. There are benefits to be had, but sometimes governments tend to get a little bit impatient for those benefits, and as a result, they end up, you know, everything just slows down. True, true. And do you think with such an event that we're having here these two days, the Egypt Mining Forum, this will help to overlook all these 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 uh, challenges or obstacles or, or practices, what we can say? Yeah, absolutely, I mean, again, Nine out of ten things with, you know, between governments and companies, are, are you know, their interests are aligned, right? So it's all just a question of spending time together, building those win-win partnerships, building that collaboration and trust that allows both sides to move quickly, right? When the trust starts to break down, that's when things start to slow down, right? And so having events like this where they're interacting, where they're comfortable talking about the real issues, right, and addressing those and exploring those together, open about the fact that they need to be better, right? Uh, that builds huge amounts of trust and is a great stepping stone. Thank you, Patrick, so much for, your, for joining us and for sharing with us some of your advices on strategies and how to make things better. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you.